Hello Virgos and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you the messages for the next seven to ten days from the time that you view this video. We are looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo. So we're going to see whatever comes out from, for you for this reading. This is general and I am a guided, uh, these are guided messages. So I've called in Archangel Michael and all of his gang to help us during this time right now. And I'm getting some really amazing messages in the readings that I'm doing, not just for my guidance clients, but for the public views too. Right now, what you have, my beautiful Virgo, <clears throat> is you have the Eight of Swords. This is feeling trapped and stuck and not necessarily in prison, although it could mean physically in prison, but it definitely represents a prisoning of the mind, being trapped in a repetitive thing where you feel like you can't break this cycle. Why can't I stop thinking about that situation or that person? Some of you may have met a twin flame. You might be thinking about your partner. You might be thinking about family members and being separated from them. Now, I mean, let's be honest, somebody may be in jail. It could be a family member that's in jail, but we're not really looking at that. We're looking about how to come out of this, right? Because you guys already know the negative side of your life, and my job is to help you see through it. So a little bit of that background is what we're looking at. And again, this doesn't have to be prison, prison or jail. It's the mental thoughts with the swords. It's what we're thinking in our head. And it very well may be you, Virgo, stuck in a negative pattern, a negative thought process. I don't deserve enough. I don't, I'm never going to have a family. I will never reunite with my family. Things like that, right? So you want to make sure that you are paying attention to what you're thinking equally to whoever you're dealing with, Virgo. Make sure you're listening to the way they speak to you as well. They could be the ones stuck in a mental, you know, where they're talking a lot about things that happen that hurt them. So we have the Prince of Pentacles, and this is an actual apology if you are expecting an apology. But this Prince of Pentacles represents a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. And this is somebody who uh, can take forever to come through. They can really take a long time before they are able to come up and say, I'm sorry, before they can think about giving the offer. Now, if this is a person you're dealing with and you have been wondering, are they even going to ask me to marry them? Is that really my soulmate? Is this really the person I'm going to have a family with? Because nothing's happening. I'm just stuck. They aren't asking. They're not proposing. They're not doing anything. And with this Prince of Pentacles, some of you are actually going to get that apology. You're going to get that proposal. And I feel for some of you, I'm seeing 3-4. It could be three to four weeks, three to four months. But for a lot of you, it's actually three to four years. It's a larger uh, it's a larger gap in the energy flow around you. So this is like a three, four year or approximately that time frame where you may have been apart. You could have been married or joined at that time and been apart the whole time. It can be different for all of you uh, in your life. We have the card of judgment, and that's what I'm talking about. You know, this opportunity is coming back around again. They are literally going to come in. They are going to give you a sincere apology, whoever this is. Whether this is a job, they may have let you go. They may have been putting you on hold. Not If you're in commission and you were waiting for your leads, not getting your leads and being shoved off the side, right? Whatever this is, this is saying, I'm sorry, and presenting you a sincere offer, a sincere apology. Now, it's not the king. That means there will be work that needs to be done. And definitely there's work that needs to be done with the Eight of Swords. If you were in the Eight of Swords energy, you're going to have to do some work between this relationship. And that's learning to rebuild trust. Now, here's what's going to be tempting. You got the King of Wands, okay? And the King of Wands can be an Aries, Sag, or a Leo. We know that. They can be a fire sign, and we know fire element is all about, whoa, baby, right? It's about excitement in life, sensuality, passion, drive, and adventure. So this person may have really done a, a 360 
And now they're coming in this way where they were not before. But for a lot of you, I feel this is the way they were before. And they may have changed during that why you separated, why the parting of the ways happened. And now the person that you know is returning. But not only are they returning, they're returning better. All right. The king is very confident. The king understands how to, how to get you to say yes without manipulating you. This isn't necessarily negative at all. Now, if it was like this, yeah, that would be whew, uh, as far as tarot goes. But my message is saying this person has a heightened like baba boom around them. You know, it's like, wow, you really changed. Where it takes a lot of confidence to say, will you marry me? I love you. I will be there for you. I mean, you are committing the rest of your life to somebody. And if we take the commitment literally, like so many of us overgivers and paths do in life, uh, we we know we're going to be trapped and stuck with that person <laughs> with the eight of swords, right? But I don't feel that's really what's going on for you guys. This is actually kind of feeling like it's going to become beautiful. You're going to make a final judgment call and offer an opportunity is coming back around again. One that made you feel a little bit out of balance, if not a lot out of balance. Being stuck in that eight of swords is awful. Okay, if you've been in the twin flame journey, you were triggered by one of those situations, one of those people, and they represent the complete opposite of us. And if you want to know more about the journey, I've got the membership and we're going to start that. It's an eight week series each week and it's going to be really cool. Okay, so I'll talk about the entire journey and this is going to help a lot of you out. It is about the ultimate love. But the ultimate love is whatever you decide it is at the end. So it, it's kind of crazy what happens. I've had people come back and say, you were right, they came back. But they, were, they weren't they were fixed. They were the same. They were still broken. You know, it's like... All right, you guys, the detail is saying we have the page of wands. This is a baby step forward. And if you look at this card, there's a person in the back of this card. So you may have been on hold because of whoever you were dealing with needed to close off old ties. I hear music. Uh, you may needed to close off old ties before you can do this. Whatever it is, they're saying pay very close attention to your intuition. Not to me, not to your sister or your best friend, Pay attention to your own gut. You see, there's a snake down here, which means there may have been a little sneaky something in the background, which is what I just said a little while ago. That's why this card is here. If we're dealing with somebody who does not hurt us, this card does not come out, right? This is about a mental suffering. Uh, yeah, they're saying uh, take baby steps and get to know them. Get to know them and have them prove who they are so you are not tricked you are not deceived if they say they want to marry you to <laughs> you don't want to hear it i heard use caution is one that i heard use caution and the other one was run and that's what i heard but that's not for this reading i don't know who said that i don't know why that came through maybe that's actually applicable for you because nothing is by chance in my readings Whatever it is, I'm going to pull a romance angel card. I got a little embarrassed by that. Now, I'm going to add to this because this is a very brief, uh, short little uh, scenario here. And there's not a whole lot to add to it. So stay with me and I'm going to pull more cards for a different group of hopefully a different group. Unrequited love was attached to this reading. And that's why we have this card. And when we have unrequited love, this person, like I said, may have come in and they may have been a charmer and just male or female charmed the pants off of you, perhaps literally, and <laughs> promised you a family, promised you marriage and said, I love you and, and they ran. So with the judgment card, this is actually you going to make this final decision. Do you believe them or do you not? Again, your final message for this group is to follow your gut. Pay attention to your intuition. Your intuition will warn you when you have snakes around you in the grass. So let's take a look at another group of you uh, real quick because 
that's just not a long enough reading. I can't do that. Um, I accidentally did that one time on, a, I think it was Leo. I must, I think I only gave like four minutes or something and I didn't mean to, but the reading was so fast and my message has come through so fast. All right, let's take a look. I'm not going to pull the King of Wands. I'm not going to put those cards back in the deck because I want to pull a different group of you. So Virgos, make sure that you are paying attention to your cupboards and your drawers. You're usually very organized. And I think I just recently uh, brought this up. You need to clean your home up like a glove, like a white glove. That's what I just heard. So it's like, a, you know, the white glove experience. Um, you may have out of the blue company coming. You may have a an inspection of some kind coming in. So that could even be in your work environment. It doesn't have to necessarily be in your home per se. Now we did get a yes card on that. We got you, we got the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups, male or female, and this is a general reading. So it really represents you. Being grounded, secure, feeling like you have enough money in the bank, feeling like you've done everything, what I just said, making sure that things are put away. But look what flew out with it. The Five of Pentacles, and this is saying, yes, my beautiful Virgo babies, make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. If you're feeling a lack and we're out of sorts, we will feel a lack until we put everything back. And then it's like, I didn't know I had five tubes of toothpaste, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because we scatter things and we don't mean to do it, especially if we have children. Sometimes we just throw it or sometimes they do it for us, right? Whatever this is right now, it's it's like you're getting ready. Uh, you, you're feeling in the moment you are feeling a lack. This could be a lack of a job, lack of finances, lack of anything, lack of self-value, a number of different things. And I feel for this group of you, you're isolated in your home. You're feeling lonely. So you may not be attached in a, in a physical way to organization, family, people, and you may not have anybody around you at all, either which way. It's like that pulling back that all of us had to do in 2020, and we're still, you know, kind of doing this in 2021 and then we'll have it happen again down the road. So the Queen of Pentacles is, is you again. The Queen of Pentacles is here twice. So they're really saying pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to whatever is going on around you. Look for the scenarios. Look for the synchronicities. These uh, I'm seeing an old-fashioned clock where it has the hand on it. So they're saying look for scenarios and they showed me the clock. So you must be seeing a lot of numbers and right now a lot of people are seeing 1111 a lot of ones one 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 you may even be seeing some sixes and sevens with this group of you no sixes are not bad angel numbers are all beautiful we're not talking about devil numbers here right so this is a beautiful moment for you to really reflect in your past memories all of your skill set what are you good at if you're having a lack of income right now virgo babies this is diving deep what are you good at make a list of what you're good at organize yourself and once you're organized you're everything's gonna blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like if things are out of order for you, you can't function. And I'm like that. I'm very analytical. So I do that as well. And that's what they're saying for this group of you. Now, if you're dealing with a romantic situation, you may be dealing with an offer, a person that you thought was grounded. But I have a feeling this would be a person who actually drained you financially. And doesn't have to necessarily be money but I feel it's a, it's the heaviness of like a bag of coins, you know, like that heaviness that would be attached to it. Where it's actually, I feel it's money. King of Wands. So the King of Wands came out on the other side. And it's definitely saying, Virgo, some of you guys are dealing with the King of Wands or that ultra confident type of an energy. The King of Wands is here right next to the World card. Now, these are detail cards. So underneath your Queen and your Queen, okay, you have two Queens and a King. 
you have an option right here. You have an option coming in multiple choices with that seven of cups as well. This may be somebody I feel for some of you, you met this person in your dreams. You already saw them in your dreams. Okay. When we're talking about romance, if we're talking about your current partner, you may be seeing them in your dreams. You might be going back in a melancholy kind of a, uh, the pure and innocent side of the beginning of a relationship when we, we giggle and we laugh and we tickle each other and it's super cool, right? That part where the giddy is getting ready to come back out. So I love that. I may even put that in the title. I should, cause that's just like a, a really beautiful vibration that's coming through. So if your feelings the Eight of Swords, Virgo, and you're feeling trapped and stuck, you may have an opportunity coming in that is going to make you feel giddy uh, like you did before. Um, one second, I'm writing. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is a moment in time for you to really make some differences in your life. Have an amazing week. Please thumbs up this video. Let's get it out to other Virgos and much love.